Alrighty, so today I'm going to show you my favorite Rough Rider series. And as you can see, or guess, my favorite series is the High Plains series. So there's eight knives in the series. I only have six. I think I'm missing the Cotton Sampler and the Trapper. Eventually I'll get those, but just so many knives with a little bit of money. You all know that struggle. But I think this thing... I think the thing I love about this series the most is the bone, that brown bone. It just looks so beautiful on all the knives. Um, even the imperfections, in my opinion, make it that much better. You can see on this Granddaddy Barlow, there's no shield. You do have that R bolster stamp, but I can deal with that because it's cleanly stamped. And it's just not over advertised. I think it's just too much if you have a... Uh, a shield and then the bolster stamp, but I think this looks good and the quality of the series Like with most Rough Riders is just fantastic A lot of people like this granddaddy Barlow pattern a nice clip point blade Big knife for everyday tasks or I think excellent for food prep and then you just have the awesome awesome slender profile yeah, really, really cool. Really like this Granddaddy Barlow. I wish they would have had a smaller size Barlow in this series. That would have made it perfect. But here's the Granddaddy Barlow. Very popular knife. I think that one goes for like 15 or $16. All these knives are under 20 I don't have the exact pricing, but you can go on SMKW or Chicago Knife Works, wherever you go. Pretty inexpensive knives. Here is the, the large toothpick. You have, again, look at that bone. And this High Plane series is supposed to kind of show a, or mimic a topographic map. You know, you got like the hills and the elevation right there with those ridges and the bone. But again, that color, I just love this brown color. Very classy, very good looking knives. That classic clip point blade on this toothpick. I'm not a, the biggest fan of large toothpicks, but this one takes the cake. My favorite by far. Very, very cool. I just can't get over these knives. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think this is the most recent one I got. It is the Hawkbill. You have a lanyard hole right there. Also, again, slender profile, excellent fit and finish for $15 to $17. You can't ask more, in my opinion. You cannot ask more for that price from a fretter. The only thing I would, I mean, if I had a gripe about something, is that the point on this Hawkbill is not the greatest or even the sharpest. There's something under my nail. It's a piece of leather, I think. I like these hawkbills. I don't have the everyday use for the hawkbills, but I like how they look. It's kind of cool how the bone is a little different on each side. Some people might not like that, but I like it. I like the light to the darker brown. So this one, it looks like it has silver pins and then one brass pin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you're seeing that. Maybe they're all brass, but this one looks, maybe it's more patinaed than the rest. So there's a hawkbill, and then you have the sow belly, TK's favorite. Yeah, I think this is the only sow belly I have from Rough Rider. Yeah, good looking knife. Good looking knife. Obviously, all these are made in China, and they have the 440 stainless steel blades. Nice tube's foot. And then that wonderful spay that so many people love to hate on, including myself. Just an ugly blade. <laughs> this one is. 
but good half stops, good walk and talk, good fit and finish, yeah. And then you have a doctor's knife. I like the doctor's pattern, very cool. I like the history behind them. You have this clip point blade. Not a fan of the double nail nicks. I wish it only had maybe that one. I think two nail nicks is overdoing it. Almost cut myself. And you have the spatula. So what I read, traditionally doctor, doctors would use this as a tongue depressor like, uh, or to count pills. They would use this as like a spoon um, just to shuffle around pills. And then they would use this flat bottom right here to crush pills for medicine or medicinal use. Very cool. I think some of the Rough Rider doctor's knives only have the clip point blade. There's even the the pipe doctor with the, the pipe cleaner. I have that one too. Very nice. Instead of the spatula, it has a kind of a, a pointy pipe cleaner. So there's a doctor's knife and then the muskrat. Really like the muskrat pattern. Two similar blades. Got two kind of Turkish clip point blades. Like the shape. I think this blade is really good for everyday use for what I use my knives for. To the same blade. Oh, there we go. The muskrat, the improved muskrat. So you got that liner right there in the middle. I think that's what improved mu muskrat means. Because previous muskrats, the pre improved ones, they didn't have that middle liner. So sometimes the blades would hit each other. A lot of times they would run on one back spring. Sometimes. So this one obviously has two. So each blade has its own back spring, its own little slot to minimize blade rubbage. But there is my favorite pattern of Rough Rider knives. Um, it has been for a while. I, I kind of go back and forth from the Cinnamon series, but I think I. I I just like this series the best. Even with the R bolster stamp, I still like it over the cinnamon series. But I just want to know, or let me know what your favorite series is. Um, I'm just curious. And I, I think with knife collectors, it's always changing. So what you liked yesterday might not be the same as you do today. All right. I'll see you guys next time.